All right. So today I'm going to be talking about um, just just the basics of how to customize your profile, how to just do you know, get it going, how to change things, and um, how to download it. It should be not too long this video, which is great. Um, so in the previous videos, you saw me already talk about what each box means and uh, how it goes along about. And I was going to go in detail in other videos, um, but this one just keep it basic. So first and foremost. Um, it's always good to have a template. You can get it anywhere. You can get it from me. You can get it from other people. Have a plastic, the forms, or most people just go to the plastic manager program and download their own template or their own profile and then just tweak it as they like. So for me, I got the default configuration. So I just found it. I opened it with edit configuration support. It opens up this link to my browser. Uh, I don't own it, that's why it's called B only, but it's an exact copy of the other one I have. So all I did to download it, I mean make a copy on my own Google Drive account, is I click file, make copy, name it wherever you want, and then put it wherever. And then you click OK. And when you do that, it opens up your own. Um, I already took the liberty of changing the, I guess, the semi-text. But it's exactly the same thing as the other one. Um, I just named it differently so I can delete this later. If I... But the most important thing once you get in here is the first three lines. These are the most important ones. Uh, one, A1, where it says profile name, do not change that. If you're gonna use infrared for like to control your TV and you know what you're doing, then you can just click the little drop down menu and click infrared preferences or name. I'll go over preferences later, but it must be on profile name. If it does not have profile name, it is not going to work. Um, before I continue any farther than this, just know that you can find all this information the online manual. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below, but it pretty, pretty much uh, makes it simple so you can, everyone can understand the step by step. So it's really good. I highly recommend. It. But yes, A1, do not change it. Um, A2, this is where you're going to be naming your profile. Um, this one is called, it, this one's not called default custom configuration. This one's actually called default.csv. See if you highlight your mouse over it, it tells you what it does which is nice it's a little notes here um the rule for this one is don't try not to make it too long and there should be no spaces and it should always end in dot csv so let me give you an example what happens when you don't do that and if you don't do the point those three rules it's not going to work either so let's say I erase the dot, right? I erase the dot and I click away. It's gonna give me a red flag. This red flag means no, dude, what are you doing? Fix it. It's kind of hard to see after that. So I'm just gonna fix it real quick. So I, it says default right now, dot PSP. I click away. It should read it again and now I'll fix it. It's A okay. So. I'm probably gonna put it down somewhere. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna name Bay Beluga. There we go. I'm gonna call it babybeluga.csb. So but those, that's the rules for A2. Now, A3 is not super important. This is more like a preference for those who uh, have trouble distincting between Xbox and PlayStation. No matter what you put it, they're going to read the same thing because they're the exact same buttons, just different locations. Mm, but yeah, you, here you can name it Xbox name. If you're comfortable with Xbox names, then you can name it Xbox. But it doesn't matter. So, I'll put on that. Uh, as you know from the previous video, A1 is basically what button you want where. So see. It gives you a list of buttons you can actually choose from, like, all right, I need L1, etc. Uh, section B, which I will cover that in future videos again, is uh, how the 
func how the buttons is gonna function. Uh, right now, the most basic one is normal. You have all these to play with. I'm gonna leave that as normal. And then column C is where on the quad stick it's going to happen. Uh, you can choose different locations from the drop down menu. And then column K is your comment. You can type in like you know, your little notes for yourself. Run, print, etc. I have an example of that with my Monster Hunter profile. I put notes all over the place. It looks like a whole mess. But I like it because it reminds me of what I should be doing and how I should be doing. Mm, but anyway. And then the bottom is basically your modes. See my left analog stick, my mix, right, pad, mouse, and perfect. So there's only two things that are not mentioned here. Is Preferences is not a mode. Preferences is just like your settings of the quad stick. But here, you can have specific settings for specific profile. So if you notice, my soft and puff for uh, my actual quad stick is 250 milliseconds for my soft sip buffs. But if I wanted to, I can set my soft sift delay to 5,000 milliseconds, which is 5 seconds. That's if I wanted to, it's just an example. Uh, but yeah, for this specific profile, I could change this to like even 3 seconds or 100 milliseconds. Uh, it all depends on what I want. Uh, but that's where you mess with it. For more information on preferences, which I already did cover in another video, mm -hmm. All the preferences commands can be found on this link that I will post in the description box. And here is where you can actually add on to it if you want. All you have to do is click on one of the lines at the bottom, click on insert, add a row. And you can just continue adding on. And it should follow the settings according to this preferences sheet. Mm, right now it is running on emulation zero. But anyway. The only, the, the most basic thing I can add is that a lot of people have trouble combining buttons. They don't know how, so this is where you would do it. The, the only rule for Switch at this point is there should be no spaces in between the yellow box. So having one right here, having it as normal, I'm putting whatever, you'll see you'll get a red flag it's telling you there should be no spaces in between yellow boxes because what happens is uh when the plastic reads this it reads it only to the last blank i mean it reads it to the first yellow blank so the first yellow blank is at lines 45. after that it will stop reading the plastic and start back from the beginning so anything below it would not be read to fix this just don't have spaces in between yellow boxes. You can have spaces in between the blue boxes. That is just fine. But no spaces in between yellow boxes. So, going along with it, uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the whole combining buttons. So, most games require you to like combine the left triggers or left bumpers together. So, that would be like. Oh, or L2. No, let's go with R1. It's actually more common than anything. Let's say I put it on blip. So the yellow boxes when they're highlighted, it just means it's a semi warning. It's more of a, are you sure? It's not going to break it. You can leave it there, but it's more of a, are you sure you want to do this? It's because it notices that there's two of the same commands on. Yeah, there's two of the same commands on the same location on the buttons, which is fine. So what, what this reads now, it's when I click the lip button, it triggers L1 and the lip button also triggers R1 which is the, the bumpers on the controller. So that's all it, that's all it means at this point. Uh, but that's how you combine buttons. 
you just kind of write them down one by one and go like, all right, well, I need to click the left bumper and the right bumper on the lip. I would like to do that. And that's how you write it. It's pretty straightforward. Just keep it simple. Um, don't get put off about making profiles. Just take your time. Uh, on that, mm -hmm. we download it. It's really simple. Two ways. Mm -hmm. First, since this is your first time, probably, you know, making your own profile and making your own Google Drive account, you will click on add ons. Get add ons. Type in quad stick, download the extension, and follow the rules. And once you're done doing that, just refresh the page. And it should like initiate everything. So once you got that out of the way, click on add ons. Once you got the quad stick coming out of here, see there it is quad stick. Um, if you have a Mac, this is what you do you click on save CSV. If you have a Mac where you just prefer this way, doesn't matter. Save as CSV. So download. It'll download it right here. Save below. Then all I gotta do is copy it into my quad. See, I have so many profiles. And there it is. Baby Beluga is here at the bottom. And that's it. Just load into the profile manually, and you're good to go. I don't want it though. I'm going to delete it. Now for, you can do this whether or not you have a Mac, but if you prefer the Quasic Manager, this is how you would do it. Click on share, click on copy, copy the link, done. Open the Quasic Manager program, game files, add game to user list. and paste the URL. Click OK. It will show up on the right hand side. Now to download it, highlight it, and then download the plot stick on the bottom. It'll do its thing. You notice on the bottom left hand corner of the status bar, it should say download. There it is. It's right somewhere. Right here. Here it is. And it download it all i gotta do is load it up and you're good to go um i don't want this so i'm gonna delete it and it's done thanks for watching hopefully that was under 10 minutes have a good day i'm gonna go more in detail about functions and all that later